everybody, this is Heather from the Homesteading Hippie. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to make some chicken broth in the Instant Pot. Now last time we fabricated or cut up a whole chicken, so what we have left is our carcass. So we're going to go ahead and get it started in the Instant Pot, but first I'm going to let you know about some of the cool features and why I like this. The Instant Pot is an electric pressure cooker that sits on your counter, and when you have the lid on and off, it makes a noise so you know it's sealed. Tacha. It's awesome. At the top, there's a little knob. It goes towards venting or sealing. So as you're cooking, you want it to have, be pointing toward the ceiling. And as you're done cooking and you want to vent the pressure, you just point it towards there. It's almost foolproof. So we're going to get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add our chicken carcass from our fabricated chicken and then the wing tips, the wing tips that we cut off the wings. Okay, so we've got our chicken carcass and our tips in the pot. And to that we're going to add a couple cut up carrots, an onion cut in half, I leave the skins on with organic onions because it gives it a nice golden flavor. And a couple cloves of garlic. I'm just going to take the skins off real quick. And if you smash down a garlic before you open it, or before you add it to your broth actually, it actually helps release some of the good stuff about it, like the medicinal benefits. And to that, we're going to add cold filtered water. Now I don't use salt when I'm making this to begin with. I actually will salt the broth afterwards. I tend to find it kind of tastes bitter for my family's tastes if I add the salt to it. Cool little handle spot that they have there for the Instant Pot lid. That music makes me happy. We're gonna make sure it's on ceiling. And we're just gonna come right here in the front now they have all different kinds of buttons, which is, makes it heather proof even, not just foolproof, but heather proof. And you can actually put it on poultry, bean and chili, meat stew or soup. But we're gonna go ahead and cook it on manual. And we're gonna just adjust the time to two hours, which is 120 minutes, just in case anyone needed help with that math. Believe it or not, I had to think about it for a few minutes the first time I did it. Okay. And that's automatically going to start. It will come to pressure. It will Then the timer will start. And in an hour and 20 minutes afterwards, excuse me, it will come to pressure. And 120 minutes later, we'll have some fresh broth to look at. We'll check back. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes, and as you can see on the display, it has 120. That shows the number of minutes we're going to have it cooking, and then the broth will be ready. You can see the sides are not very warm at all. The top, however, is very hot, so you want to keep your hands off of that. But we'll check back, and the broth will be ready in just two hours. Okay, the pressure cooker has cooked for 120 minutes or two hours, and as you see on the display, it has the L and O2. That means it's counting down from the time it started. So at 120 minutes it was over, now it's counting down from the time it's over. We're going to let that sit until the display has 20 minutes on it and let the pressure canner cool a little bit before we open it up and take the canner, the, the broth out. We'll check back in about 20 minutes when that's ready. Okay, so we've let this sit for about 30 minutes, letting it cool. Originally it was only supposed to be 20, but some things happen on the farm, like your ducks getting out and going into your neighbor's yard. We won't go into that. So we're going to go ahead and vent the steam, anything that's left. Now as you can see, there's not a whole lot left of steam. We want to get the rest of the pressure out before we open the lid. As a matter of fact, the lid won't even open until the pressure is gone making this a really safe item to use in your kitchen, especially for those of you who are a little nervous about pressure cookers. You'll know that the steam is done when the top button up here sinks down. 
and we'll get a picture of that for you. As you can see, the little button has fallen down, so the pressure is ready to go. We're going to carefully turn the lid, and there's that music again. And we're cha cha -ing. And again, it's still going to be hot, so open the pot away from you. Now you can set the pot in that cute little holder, or since I'm taking this out completely, I'm going to set it to the side. And then we're just going to drain our broth into this jar and let it cool. And you have a very nice, clear broth as well. That's one of the benefits of doing the broth in the Instant Pot versus the Crock Pot is the clarity of the broth. I think it looks nice. It doesn't detract any from the mineral content. It just makes it look pretty. Now, we can take those vegetables and that chicken carcass and we can actually put it in for a second round, which is what I'm going to do. And that will all give you almost two gallons of broth in the same, just about four hours. Thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon. Again, this is the Homesteading Hippie. We hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you liked it or give us a thumbs up. I'll put a link to where you can get your own Instant Pot in the comments. Thanks again.